I started my career here in this kind in, in Melbourne, and um, you know I'm, and I'm here in a different sport. Uh, the, the top end, so it's great to be here with UFC, biggest organization in the planet. Now you're in a phenomenal shape going into this fight. Is this the best shape that we've ever seen, Mark Hunt, in the UFC so far? Correct. Yes. What kind of weight are we looking at? How much did you lose over there in Thailand? I don't know what the weight was. I had a good nutritionist. Thanks very much for that. And um, <laughs> and uh, just looking, you know, ready to go. I'm not, no, no weight cut this time. How Thanks, much does it mean to you to get the draw off your record? When you won't get it off your record, but you'll avenge it in a second. Well, look, look, the only thing that reminds me of that fight is just what happened and uh, the bad side of it. Every time someone mentions that, that fight to me, it just, just brings up why it was marked. So. A lot of people are saying this is going to be a rematch of one of the best heavyweight fights in UFC history. You just gave a prediction of a first round knockout. What do you think is going to be a lot quicker this time around than the first time? Well, look, man, it's going to be a fight. I don't know how it's going to go. I'm, I'm looking to go knock him out, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Every fight's different, but we'll see what happens. Which is a more difficult fight for you physically? The, the one, the first fight with Bigfoot or this most recent one with Stephen? The one with Stephen was hard, you know. I, I got beaten up. <laughs> I got beaten up. Uh, you know, I beat myself. I lost that fight. But uh, it was hard. That's why I had to do some changes. So, yeah. what, what was the major issues leading up in, uh, to that fight? Was it just your training camp? You used the weight? It was me. You know, I had to lose like uh, 10 kilograms in the day before the down the way. And so that wasn't good. It was not good for anybody. So I, I'm not doing that again. And, are you confident cardio won't be an issue this time? Oh no, I'm ready to go five, ten rounds, whatever you need, I'm ready. Do you see this as a sort of chance to redeem yourself for the Mejic? Um, yeah, of course, the Mejic fight uh, doesn't sit well with me, still doesn't, that's why I'm here ready. When you spoke to us, you said there were some issues with not eating carbs or something going into the Stipe fight. Is that all going to be sorted going into this one? There is no way cut here, it's, it's sorted already, so... I'm just, you, apart from the physical, mental is a big part of the game. Is there anything differently you've done mentally to approach this fight than you have in the past? I've just um, put myself in, I surrounded myself with good people. Um, not like the last camp was, was bad, it was just my fault. I made a lot of mistakes in that last bit. And um, I'm not making them again, so you know, thanks to Stipe for that. Uh, so, yeah, earlier you mentioned how UFC is um, the, the biggest uh, or, uh, sporting, um, combat sporting organisation in the world. Did you feel it's sort of, um, I guess, capitalised on the fact that, I guess, boxing is generally um, viewed as being in decline? Well, I think yeah. what everyone realises, like, the mixed martial arts is the ultimate in fighting sport, then mm. they understand uh, the uneducation of people looking at it and, oh, that's just, it's not a good sport. Until they actually go through the process of learning the ground game, it's, then they understand. So, you know, boxing is one-dimensional. It's, just uh, you know, your brain and your freaking hands, but uh, mixed martial arts has got so many different levels. Like you said, you started your career here in Melbourne. Um, how's it feel being back here under these circumstances now? Did you ever think that you'd get here like this? No, I didn't. Like I said, uh, for myself, I, I, I didn't even want to be a fighter. But uh, it's come full circle now here in Melbourne, and great city of Melbourne, of course. And I started fighting in the Crown, the K1 Oceana, and um, yeah, I'm back now with UFC. So. Yeah, thanks to God for that. Yeah. Well, speaking of your story, your book's come out, and it's an incredible journey of your life. Some of the stuff that you've written in there, I mean, it's incredible what you've achieved in your career. How does it feel that, that you know that fans know what you've been through, and now they're on your side and they know the whole story behind everything? Well, look, for me to share the book, I, I said no to it like four or five times, but just to share my story so I can help others is the main thing, the reason why I did it. You know, I, it wasn't for the money, it wasn't for, I don't like to hear my didn't want you to anybody. But um, to help others in, in the struggle and the journey is, is something positive. I've been given a platform by God for the UFC, so this is the reason why I said oh, yes to Vanessa for doing it. So I'm going to head to Australia. Vanessa, thank you very much. After your career finishes, do you think you're going to make the city step up? Only God knows. I have no idea, man, honestly. No idea at all. Just uh, I'm just going with what I'm doing. So. Yeah. You have two fights left. You mentioned you have two fights left. You have two fights up in your contract. You, are you looking to renegotiate? Or are you just kind of is it wait and see at this point? Like I said, I don't know, man. It, uh, every fight could be my last. This fight here, so they're not going to be my last fight here. You know? how, how long realistically do you think you could go? I mean, you're 41 now. How long do you think realistically you could go on for? Do you feel? Mentally, I could fight forever. I yeah. feel I'm the best fighter on the planet. My mind says I can fight better, but physically, you know, I, just, I won't be able to do it. But uh, I love fighting. It's just harder to you get a lot of young, up and coming uh, heavyweights from Australia and New Zealand. There. They're bloody damn good, man. <laughs> so it's hard to keep up with them. There's been opposition in this area to MMA, and now it's coming back. And I saw yesterday there was an editorial that said they shouldn't allow kids in the, in the stadium. Why do you think there's been strong opposition? What do you think about that stance that they've been I think they try and associate street thuggery and street fighting with what we do as, as sport, mixed martial arts. But uh, if any of them wanted to prove I'm one that's moved totally away from violence, street violence, 
started from that, yeah. from the negative, coming to a positive, and I've used mixed martial arts, and, and um, martial arts is a way to get, to get away from it. Every martial artist knows that when you do a lot of martial arts and training, you move away from that aggressive side of being an angry person, angry, angry young kid. So, if anything, for example, I'm a pure example. Do you find that gives it gives um, gives a platform to for self discipline? It does. Yeah. I'm a pure example of this. Yeah. 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 What is the opinion that they should ban kids from coming to the country? I I don't think so. My son would be here, but my wife is sick of looking after the kids. That's why he's not coming. Well, a fellow legend, K1 legend, Mako Krokop, just retired a few days ago. Amazing career. It was a fight that people wanted to see you guys have in the UFC. It's not going to happen. What were your thoughts when you heard that he's retired and he's gone from the UFC? That's uh, his prerogative, and uh, you know it's good on him. He's had a great career. Um, you know, it is what it is. It's time. It's time. I, I don't want to be one of those fighters just say it's time and then come back and say you know I should have put up. When I'm out, I'm out. So, yeah, good on. Put in the slate, Mark! Uh, honestly, I don't really care where it goes. I'm ready. I'm ready. Show us some love! Thanks, Thanks Mark. Thank you guys. Cheers. Appreciate it. Thank you.